Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next First People's Party. The difference is clear. Only two days ago, his Excellency Peter Obi was in a meeting, a Twitter space with over 200,000 Nigerians for over three hours. He was answering economic, social and security questions with precision and class. But just last night, Tinubu came out to address Nigerians and he was reading from a screen. And even then, the speech was empty. It lacked substance and it made Nigerians more depressed and it increased the call on the judiciary to do the right thing. They say judiciary, make could save us from this impending doom. But before I show you that speech and how Nigerians reacted angrily, let me quickly show you this interview of Mr. Shaibu, Frank, where he told APC that legitimacy is something you earn, not something you buy. And he urged the judiciary to do justice at the tribunal. Check it out. Don't forget that in 2019, when we raised the alarm that Justice Bukachua should recuse herself from the election petitions tribunal in our case in Achiko Bakar versus president, former President Muhammadu Buhari, we all, the world, Nigerians, particularly the APC, said, oh, we're crying wolf. Lo and behold, a few weeks ago, her husband on the floor of the last National Assembly, the last Senate, made an open confession like a man who was possessed. And he said, look, I know how I use my, my, my position as husband of the president of the former president of the Court of Appeal to assist my colleagues in getting them victory. So I do not need, we do not need the services of a clairvoyant to hazard a guess as to what the APC is capable of doing, going from their track record of intimidation of judge, judges, bribery, and all of that. But what we have been saying and what we said in our statement is clear and unambiguous. The just, esteemed justices of our courts should be vigilant. They should do justice even if the heavens will fall. They should do justice. And besides, like, and, and the truth is like Justice Oguta, Oguta, Oguta Day of the, uh, of the Supreme Court, said, retired justice of the Supreme Court said, he said, look, when justice is done, heavens will stay in one place. If I, it will stay in peace. Heavens will not fall. So nobody should come here to intimidate us. Or nobody should come to national television to begin to lobby us. And No, we are not the ones. We are not the, we are not the ones for you to do that you should lobby. Legitimacy is something you earn. It's not something you buy. It's not something you go from one cup in hand going to beg like uh, my brother here, uh, the uh, honorable, uh, uh, honorable member of uh, the former assembly is doing here, doing uh, Allah to me and to uh, His Excellency uh, Peter Obi. No, sir. What we are saying is about justice. We are not talking about election. We are not campaigning here. We are saying that, look, your candidate in the first place was not qualified to be president. He did not, in fact, he was not qualified to have even contested. You heard him. And that was Frank Shaibu speaking the whole truth there. Tinubu and APC going from one quarter to another, begging people for acceptance. We will not confer legitimacy on them. And he urged the judiciary to do justice. That when justice is done, heavens will not fall. In fact, that is when peace will reign supreme. Now, on to the speech from Tinubu. Let's take it. Nigeria could never become the society it was intended to be as long as such small, powerful, yet unelected groups hold enormous influence 
over a political economy and the institutions that govern it. The whims of the few should never hold dominant sway over the hopes and aspirations of the many. If we are to be a democracy, the people and not the power of money must be sovereign. The preceding administration saw this looming danger as well. Indeed, it made no provision in the 2023 appropriation for subsidy after June this year. Removal of this once helpful device that had transformed into a millstone around the country's neck had become inevitable. Also, the multiple exchange rate, the system that had been established be became nothing but a highway of currency speculation. It diverted money that should have been used to create jobs, build factories, and businesses from millions of people. Our national wealth was doled out on favorable terms to a handful of people who had been made filthy rich simply by moving money from one hand to another. This too was extremely unfair and is not acceptable. It's also compounded the threat that the illicit and mass accumulation of money posed to the future of our democratic system and its, uh, its economy. I had promised to reform the economy for the long time good by fighting major imbalances that has plagued our economy, ending the subsidy and the pre exchange rate system were key to this fight. This fight is to define the fate and future of our nation. Much is in balance. Thus, the effect in our economy immensely profited a tiny elite, the elite of the elite, you might call them. As we move to fight the flaws in the economy, the people who grow rich from them predictably will fight back through every means necessary. But we are ready. Our economy is going through a tough patch and you are being hurt by it, I know. The cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it. Households and businesses struggling. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways, but there is not. If there were, I would have taken that route as I came here to help not to hurt the people and the nation that I love so dearly. Wow, I am shocked at the level of hypocrisy in this speech. The hypocrisy in this speech screams to, to the high heavens. He's talking about a few people that amass wealth for themselves at the detriment of the masses. Is there anybody more guilty of that offense in this country than him? He's saying that the whims of the few should never hold dominant sway over the hopes and aspirations of many. But he gave 70 billion to 469 members of the National Assembly and left the masses to suffer. He said, if we are to be a democracy, the people and not the power of money must be sovereign. But everyone knows who the kings of vote buying are. In fact, he openly said that a Mephiles cashless policy during the election was targeted at him. If I'm to break down this speech, every paragraph was hypocritical. Every paragraph contradicted who the man himself really is. But let's take some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet says, Junior speech and doesn't make sense, nor has any substance. Sounds like something a secondary school kid writes. This is a D plus in any class. And this one says, you love yourself and you love power. You don't love Nigeria. Hmm. This tweet says, resign now. <laughs> and this one says, this man talks trash with things that don't have any economic linkage. 
somebody should tell these people that you can't unify the multiple exchange rates or forex on that shaky economic wall when you borrow to consume you can't eat your cake and have it back garbage in garbage out that is it that is simply the case to unify currencies you need to have a stable economy and economies are driven by production now subsidy is gone people's ability to even produce has gone down because pms is the sole thing that drives all the smes in nigeria and in a nation where all the factors that aid production are difficult to access in most cases how do you even begin to produce at that level this is a case of putting the cart before the horse we are supposed to fix all these things before we talk of floating the naira but we just went ahead floated the naira now look at the state of the nation poverty depression everywhere apparently these guys have no clue you remove subsidy and there is no single investment in modular refineries nobody is talking about fixing the existing refineries that are defunct these guys clearly have no clue and that is why we are urging the judiciary to do the right thing to save the nation from this catastrophe we are not asking for too much there is a case before you and we are saying dispense judgment according to the dictates of the constitution and of the electoral laws and we wait earnestly for the day where we are go do our Gentlemen, good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady Tilvey? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live, on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, good day my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, anointed lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about. I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.